PC Perspective's coverage of CES 2016 is brought to you by Logitech. See the latest gaming peripherals at gaming.logitech.com. Hey everybody, we are here at the Corsair suite at CES 2016. Sebastian and I are looking at some of the new cases that Corsair is bringing out this year. So we know about the 600C and 600Q, but we seem to have some little brothers here as well uh, that go along with it. We had the announcement for these cases, but we're looking at them in person for the first time. Uh, these are prototype level models, but they're coming to retail soon. Um, this is the clear version. So if you look at the 600 series, you have a full tower inverse ATX layout. And with these, they go back to a traditional ATX layout. Now you're down to a mid-tower design. Okay. Um, right off the bat, these are $50 less. So we 149 for the big boy, 99 bucks for the smaller one. They're going 99 bucks for both of the smaller versions okay. of the 600 Q and C. Okay. So this clear version here, um, you have a latching hinge side panel. Tradition, nice. yep, traditional ATX layout inside. It's got uh, 140 millimeter fans. Okay. And they put this shroud over the bottom here to hide the PSU and the cable mess kind of in the bottom. So the, the water cooler is not included here, but it has room for two 140s on the front, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So 280 up here. It has top radiator mounts as well. The top here, a little bit different. On, on here, you have a, a solid top panel because it was a, an inverse design. Right, because you, you can see the airflow coming from the bottom on that one, right? But up top here, they have a magnetic yeah, dust filter. Magnetic screen that comes off. That's your filter. I really do like those. They're very easy to clean. Getting, getting them back set in the right position, maybe not as much, but uh, uh, very easy for, for cleaning purposes. Yeah. Now, having now I know that you are looking. We are have almost finished our review of the 600 series. Do they share share other traits other than kind of industrial design? I mean, obviously, if we're rotating, you know, the the motherboard around, is it just kind of an aesthetics at this point, at this case, to get the the C versus the Q differences? Uh, yeah. Well, it's noise, okay. uh, noise and aesthetics. So kind of that was the trade off. So with the Q series, they built a case specifically geared towards silence, right. especially the 600 because it's inverse. You have no noise escaping the top, it's a solid panel. With the 400, it, you will have more noise because the top is open. And then between the clear and the Q, uh, with the Q, they're fully insulated. So, so let's go back and look at the Q. If we just scoot back a little bit here, we can see this is the Q version. So this is the 400 Q. Yep. Here, and here's the 400Q. Still has the option of going completely solid on the top with this removable panel. Oh, okay. So that panel is yeah, even sound dampening yeah, material on dampening, it. It's magnetic. So if, with this in place, if you do not use a top mounted radiator, mm -hmm. you can have a very quiet enclosure similar to this. Okay. Still the same internal layout. It's going to be the same chassis as the clear version. I still see the housing around the power supply. And looks like there's a storage base down there as well. Yep. Everything's the same except for the fact that this, besides having a solid side panel, the side panel and every internal panel has the same sound dampening material. And again, this one is $99, just like the 400C. Um, and I know you have a hot scoop for everybody on the 600 review. You actually really liked those cases quite a bit. Yeah, it's super high build quality, yeah. very quiet enclosures. So we'll be very curious to see how much of that transfers over to the lower cost version in the 400s. Yeah. 